Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Sword and Shield video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at an Excadrill deck updated. So this is actually the first time I've done a video on this Excadrill. I never did one when this deck was first kind of a thing with Cosmic Clips, but now we're going to be looking at it with a lot of cool new tool cards. Uh, research is nice to help you get to your 11th hour tackle. Uh, the deck also got Great Ball, Evolution Incense, and Sinchino are all cards I like to play in this Excadrill deck that we gain from Sword and Shield. Um, and extra drill can do one energy attacks for high amounts of damage, which is what I like about it. Of course, the 11th hour tackle does 180 damage if you have three or fewer cards in your deck. And of course, we're going to try and get there through Sinchino, through Research, through Wingo and Emmet, stuff like that. We have Drill Bazooka, one for 120, can discard the top four cards of your deck. Again, helping you get to your 11th hour tackle. And with Sinchino's in play, you can kind of control your hand size, so you don't, have, you don't end up having to lose too many important cards. Um, with like sprint for example if you were to play Zip Strike it instead. I also like having the Great Ball engine in this deck too. So yeah, before we get into the video guys, of course shout out to our sponsor Cardcraft and TCG. As always guys, if you're ever looking for any PCG codes, again over at Cardcraft you get uh, Sword and Shield packs. You can get them singly, you get them in lots of 50, or you can get your Sword and Shield packs in lots of 100, all at a pretty great price. So if you're still trying to get those Sword and Shield cards, you can. Of course they have all the other PCG codes over there. Uh, like any other pack codes, of course, like team up codes and broken bonds codes, unified minds codes, or any GX codes, V codes, V max codes, whatever you're looking for is all over at Car Cavern TCG. If you get anything from Car Cavern, guys, you can use my discount code code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your order. Support the channel, support Car Cavern, and help yourself out. So shout out to Car Cavern, use code LDF if you pick up any codes. Okay, let's look at the list here. So, I should gain quite a bit with the new set, and also because Pika is kind of back to being a pretty popular deck again, this deck already has a great advantage against Pika Rom, and it just has more reason to see play. Now, is it great? No, because it does lose to Dolls pretty easily, because your whole strategy is trying to use 11th Hour Tackle um, and put your deck down pretty low, and kind of controlling your top deck with Ordinary Rod and Sinchino, so you don't deck out or anything, but unfortunately, uh, Mill is a thing, unfortunately we have to deal with Macargo, Belabla Bryson Man, so you just take auto losses to those pretty much. But other than that, you can just body other things. And of course, Pika is another really cool one. And uh, we have some cool damage boosters to help you out. Of course, Martial Arts Dojo and Diancie letting you do an extra 60, which can turn Drill Bazooka into 180 damage or 11th Hour Tackle into 240 damage. So pretty good numbers you can hit with Excadrill. And Di with Diancie and Dojo, you can hit really high numbers. And again, I like having Sinchino over Zipstrika because with Zipstrika, you have to discard draw four. And sometimes when you play uh, Sprint, you have to discard important stuff from your hand that you don't want to do just to do a length hour tackle but with Sinchino we don't have to worry about that anymore because we can keep the hand size and just keep drawing cards with Sinchino's make do. Uh, smart stuff in the deck of course Buzzwool because Sledgehammer, uh, Dionysi, Ditto as like a fifth drill bear or extra Sinchino. I am playing Muta Protector Bench and I am playing a Fion just here kind of for dolls um, and also if we just need like a free gust and it puts it back in the deck so again we can use Fion as kind of one of those like deck size controlling cards just to make sure we don't deck out. Um, so our stuff in the deck, go into the items, there's a lot to talk about here. We got two Acro Bikes to be able to just kind of thin your deck. Uh, two Evolution Incense. I am playing the Great Ball Engine, and I'm also playing four Quick Balls. Uh, I like Great Ball because you can look at the top side card of your deck, get a Pokemon there, you can thin one card from your deck. It's better than the Pokecom, in my opinion, because if you play Pokecom, you put a Pokemon back in your deck, and you might end up discarding it with Drill Bazooka. It's not really good, but Great Ball I like a lot more. I got two Great Catchers. I would try to play three Great Catchers as Gust because you might end up losing them early on or with Drill Bazooka. Just, but we do have Rototiller. But again, it might be better to bump your Great Catcher count up. And we got our Rods. We got four Rods in this deck. We got Alana's Fishing Rod because we can get back Buff Pattern or Air Balloon. Or we can also go with three Ornary Rods being able to get back two Pokemon and two Energy. So that's really good. So that's why we got a four of each. You could play a fourth Ornary Rod just to go very heavy on the Pokemon recovery because again, you discard a lot of stuff with Drill Bazooka and Research. Uh, got one stamp just kind of here because stamp is really good. I am playing one switch alongside one copy of air balloon and we have that Lana's rod to go with it. We got our dojos. Um, before we get into the supporters, I will say we got two buff padding because it gives Excadrill 190 HP, which actually puts it out of way of an ultimate ray knockout. And you can also just have 100, 190 HP just makes it very hard for stuff to one shot you. Um, and supporter time. So we got four research again. One of the best cards this deck gained was research. Uh, Inko and Emmet, which is research, but worse because you only draw five and not seven. I am playing a Kaelin and Cynthia, just another card. You could draw a card to get back a research or something. And I also am playing one copy of Clay. I like Clay because you can discard the top seven cards of your deck and get all the items there. So you can just play like a Clay in the late game and just kind of get more rods in your hand, maybe get Great Catcher in your hand, so you don't end up losing them with a Drill Bazooka. That's kind of the concept behind Clay. It's really cool. You can finish the game out too if you have like a Great Catcher in the deck you're digging for, or a Pokemon Recovery card. And just six fighting. That's it for my extra drill list here. Again, got a lot of new tools with Sword and Shield. I think this deck has some cool stuff you can do. It's a fun deck to play too. So let's go try it out. Okay, guys, jumping into the first match with Excadrill here. 
um and it looks like we found a pika game first right first game right off the bat we hit a pika matchup which is kind of hilarious not gonna lie um but yeah this game probably won't last that long it might only last five minutes or so depending on how long my opponent wants to stay in the game for and i think i'm gonna go first so we can do a turn two excadrill on them seems good to me and all right we got a pretty solid hand double great ball can help us maybe get some cinchinos down uh minchinos down sorry yeah this matchup is pretty good <laughs> another drill bear oh my gosh just give them to me um there we go we got a cinch we got a minchino hopefully we didn't prize mew but i don't think they'll ever get to the point where they ever tag bowl me just because we can one shot them excadrill cinchino i'm gonna take the cinchino just so we have it for next turn i could have taken the excadrill i guess too that wouldn't have been terrible but we can draw up to nine cards guaranteed, so we might as well just hold and just get a Cinchino for next turn. Pika is still, like, pretty scary, but because we one-shot them all the time with Excadrill, I don't really see us losing. This is one of the things you can you do about this deck. You play Excadrill, you run into the one of the most popular decks right now, which is Pika, and you pretty much just slap it in the face and win. That That's, like, I don't really know much more I have to say. It's, it's Excadrill. It's a fighting deck. It counters one of the best decks in the game right now. It's just that simple. Um, so we'll see what they do. Oh, there's probably a research. No, Dene, I forgot they grabbed that. They could full blitz me here. I mean, even if they get, I guess if they get full blitz, we should have grabbed the extra drill. I probably should have prepared for that. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed the Cinchino, but I'd rather, we have so many outs of finding more Pokemon. I'm not really too concerned about this. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Plus, I didn't really want to evolve the active. I'd rather evolve the bench drill bear. You know what I mean? I mean, what they could do is they could full blitz me here and then go build up another Pikaram on the bench. But, like, it's going to be really hard for them to get 6-5 energy on that. Plus, we have three stadiums. So, yeah. I think getting Cinchino is good. I'd rather just draw more cards anyways. So, not a big deal. There's an energy switch and an energy, which probably confirms they do have it. Yeah, despite uh, the matchup being good, they can still get these insane starts. If our hand was a lot worse, we would probably be in a really bad spot. Um, so it's good that we at least have a pretty solid start in hand, because we'd probably be in a bad spot if they did have, um, if they did have, like, if we had a bad start. So it's actually pretty good that we are getting a good start. We just need to find extra drill. And they are going to have to build themselves up. They could build up the Dene if they want to, like, tingly return me, but they're probably going to build themselves up. Yeah, they just, they're just like, they don't even care. They're kind of just going all in and all we gotta do is find extra drill to knock them out here and that will be that there is a great ball we might as well play it there's the extra drill we're probably gonna see them concede before i even take the knockout here buff padding also means we uh they have to double electro power knock me out or tag bolt knock me out another drill burr they sent a frown face uh do we need the fion probably not uh just make do the caitlin cynthia we'll probably just do in going in it Yep, they can see. We didn't even get to knock him out, but that is pretty much, like, what the deck does against Pika. You one-shot them all the time, unless, like, Big Charm, and... I guess, like, Big Charm, you'd have to find the Dante and the, uh, the Dojo, but... You see what I mean? Like, the Pika matchup, just like that. So, we'll see what we play against next year. Um... The game is very quick, but that is extra drill against Pika. If your start is good enough, which our start happened to be pretty good, you just kind of bop him in the face and win. There's not much they can do. Um, okay, let's see what we're up against next. ADP, okay. ADP is a lot harder to beat, in my opinion. It might be actually a 50-50 matchup. Okay, they get to go first. They get the extra energy on. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, this matchup's more 50-50. Uh, buff padding means that Ultimate Raid can't one-shot us, unless, say, Vitality Band or Zigzagoon me, which is interesting. Yeah, it sucks we're not going first, because this would actually be a pretty good going first type of hand. Um, but this matchup is pretty tough. Uh, we do have Dojo Dionysi, which can let 11th Hour Tackle one-shot as Asian. But because they get the extra prizes, we just can't really keep up in the prize trade, I don't think. We can try our hardest. Like, maybe we can win, maybe we don't. If we get lucky and they have a terrible starting hand here, and they they miss an energy on ADP, that's, like, the most ideal thing that we can have. But nope, they're going to get a quick ball in their opening hand. Two quick balls. Yep, they're going to get the energy on the ADP. Which means there's nothing we can do, unless it happens to not be a water. We'll see if they're playing the energy spinner build of ADP. Do they have the energy? They have to switch into ADP. If you own my Mew, okay, that's fine. We can actually Psy Power here. 
not terrible. All right, they don't have an energy. Okay, this is actually not bad. This is best case scenario, and that happened to be the case. Another drill bear top deck. Yeah, we can go for Psy Power here, which seems pretty good. Let's see what we get. Another drill bear. Uh, Great Ball gets us. We'll take the extra drill. We could take the Buzzle too. I think we'll just take the extra drill. Okay, hold on. Let me read Metal, metal Goggles. Okay, so we have to put all the damage on uh, ADP because uh, the Metal Goggles prevents us from putting side power damage on this, I think. I mean, this is probably the correct target anyways. Next turn, we're going to have to start doing some Drill Bazookas here. And we can actually knock this thing out before Ultimate Raise because they missed that turn of Alter Creation, which is really good. They haven't even found a supporter. They shouldn't have gotten rid of that other Quick Ball. What the f- What? Are you kidding me? This guy gets three energy off Intrepid Sword? Oh my gosh. Why? <laughs> what the hell, bro? Oh my... Dude, are you actually kidding me? Well, that's probably, like, game, I think. What did we lose? Mm. We did lose our air balloon, which is actually pretty bad. We also lost a quick ball. Okay, so we can knock them out here, at the very least, if they don't have a switch or mount Lana. They have four cards in their hand. They've already played a switch. Well, they could have skateboard, too. Bro, and they have a re... Dude... Why did you have to hit three energy off an Intrepid Sword? Th like, whose man's decided to put energy on this station? What, like... Bro, that blows my mind they actually got that. That's pretty... That is some luck. Now, they haven't done Ultra Creation yet, which is actually good. Which is really, really good. The problem is, we're kind of getting bodied right now because of how insanely lucky they got there. Alright, give us a supporter. I mean, I guess we take the clay. I mean, try to get some quick balls. Just one quick ball. And we just lost a bunch of researches. Wow. Wowzers. Yeah, I think we're out of the game at this point. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe- I'm still, like, mind-blown. I don't even think we should have done that. How much energy is left? One left, yeah. Probably wasn't a good idea to do that. Uh, we're gonna get back- I think we just have to get the research back. I was thinking about Orne Raw. We still have a bunch left, so it's fine. There's a chance we don't get knocked out here. They might go for Alter Creation, which is good. Because then we get to live one more turn. It looks like they are gonna Alter Creation here, unless they have, like, a double switch combo. Man, I, I knew this matchup was bad, but the fact that they actually hit a triple energy off Intrepid Sword, dude, I still can't get over that. That is insane. Man, if they didn't do that, we honestly would have been in a pretty good spot because... And they just drop a Mars Shadow on me, of course. I don't even know what that's in the deck for. Okay. Alter Creation doesn't really matter too much, thankfully. Um. Okay, it looks like Reset Stamp's gotta go. Kind of a shame, I would have preferred to keep it, but... It is what well. I guess we can roll it back, but we're probably not going to use it for that. And yes, we actually found a research off of that. Okay, let's see if we get Excadrill. We do. Okay. This is a lot better. We have 13 cards left. Plus we have an Ornay Rod for next turn. I could play that now, actually. Eh, we're fine. Great Ball. We'll do this first. Take the Drillber. We should have taken the Ditto, actually. Eh, whatever. The important thing is, we finally get to knock out this ADP. Okay, we didn't lose Ditto. Still though, I don't think we can win this game, but we'll see what happens. To be fair, they didn't have the metal goggles on. Uh, we actually could knock out the Zacian here. Actually, no, we'll be tied in prizes, never mind. If we had two great catchers left, which we unfortunately don't, my other game plan would be to knock out this. Unfortunately, we can't do that, but my game plan probably would be knock out the ADP twice with two great catchers, but we don't have that. I guess we could rototiller for it back, but I don't feel like we're going to find that. 
Okay, we got our own Fion. We actually could do Fion here, and if they give me the ADP, that could be good. Dude. Are we out of Excadrills? We are. All right, let's do this for... We'll do the Lana's Rod. Uh, probably just get back the Air Balloon. We're probably not even going to find it, but I think I'd rather the Air Balloon here, just so I can retreat. I'll try to do an 11th hour tackle here. They might be playing Blubble Bryson Man just as like a one of to try to beat the mill deck. Even though this deck already pretty much pummels mill. They haven't played a single catcher yet either, but they play Judge Whistle, so I don't really know what to expect. Alright, make do the Buzzwell way because it is pretty pointless at this point. Okay, we found our great catcher. Now nah, we should actually probably should have kept that great ball. So we can swing here. And. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll swing, I guess, and just hope they don't have a switch. Sure. They could have skateboard switch, but we'll see. Kind of wish I had that reset stamp right about now. We're probably going to get knocked out here, but there's a chance we don't. If I found that buff padding, then they couldn't ultimate ray knock me out, because they could switch energy switch if they do have that combo available. Uh, We'll see what happens. We're not out of the game just yet, which is kind of good. You know, maybe I shouldn't have benched the Ditto, because they don't end up benching anything here. We could have went for a Fion. Yeah, maybe I should have done that. They're actually going to give me the Fion. Do they have the Retreat, though? Let's see it. You get a Guru, right? Yeah, maybe we should have just went for Fion here. Alright, let's not see a Switch. They're out of Switches, actually, so... And they've already attached, so we're good. Just Intrepid Sword, okay. Oh, I should have gone that buff padding, actually. How many do we have left? We still have a buff padding left. Okay, so... Hmm, okay. First of all, we're gonna do the Ornay Rod. We are gonna choose to do both. We can choose up to. We just want the Excadrill back, right? Get back Excadrill and Sinchino and Evolve Ditto. Sure. We just want the one energy. Because if we put two back, it, we'll have to drill Bazooka that. So yeah, we just want the one energy back. Get rid of Quick Ball. Nice, we got the other extra drill. This is not too bad. We actually could win this. Unless, like, they could still Metal Saucer or Fresh Zacian out of nowhere. And they still have a bunch left, so yeah, we should, we could see that happening. I probably should have played the dojo. Oh, we didn't get the buff padding though. Oh, shoot. Oh, so we lose here, unless... If they didn't have another, if the, if the only Pokemon in play was this thing, we'd actually win the game. But yeah, it looks like we are going to have to take an L here. If we had the buff padding, we wouldn't have lost. Wow. I don't think it's in the deck, though. I don't think the buff padding is in the deck. I mean, we can check. I'm pretty sure it's not there, though. It was in the deck. Wow. Alright, well. We'll set the Fion them and uh, see if they're stupid enough to give me the Zacian. No. Rip. My opponent's smart. Dang it. <laughs> Now that'll be it for this first bit of the video. Actually, almost beating ADP like this is actually not bad. This is not terrible. The fact we almost beat this is pretty good. Um, it came down to one prize left. Um, if we had the buff padding there, they actually... I think I would have won the game if, if we had buff padding. Well, they could still have Vitality Band. I'll check their deck, actually. I want to see if they have Vitality Band. Because we could have won if we had the buff padding that turn. Maybe I shouldn't have played Ornay Rod. I should have waited a turn to, to do that. Yeah, you know what? I think I misplayed, but I was almost certain the buff padding was prized, too. I don't really know. We came closer to winning, which is still pretty good. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to do one more game with Excadrill here. Almost beating ADP Zacian, but bodying a Pika deck is what the Excadrill deck does. So there you go. All right, well, let's see what we're up against next. We're up against Metal Matt here with a Grass Dark deck. Could be, could be a Turbo Dark deck. 
Could also be a Rillaboom deck, so we'll have to see. I'm gonna still go first, because I'm not really too sure on what they're playing. So hopefully, that doesn't really come to bite me in the butt. Alright. Not the worst hand ever. We actually have turn to extra drill. Alright, we'll see what they're playing here. Hopefully, it's a good matchup. It's a Tark deck. Alright, they have... Oh, it's an Obstagoon deck, actually, I just realized. Can we beat Obstagoon? Well... Yeah, I think we'll be okay. The, I mean, the only thing that's kind of annoying is, of course, the dolls. But again, we have Fionn. So, and... Is Obstagoon weak to fighting? I'm like... Because I feel like it, the types, the, the weaknesses got changed. Obstagoon might not be weak to fighting. I don't know. I, I just can't remember if it's weak to fighting. Just because all these, like, resistances and weaknesses types got changed. But I'm pretty sure Obstagoon still would be weak to fighting. Okay. Uh, we'll bike first. Take Mancino. And I think we'll just chill out for a turn. And hope. I guess we should have played the Air Balloon in case we do get, like, Marnied here. And they do play Marnie. Um, yep, they are weak to grass. That's actually pretty bad. But they're never going to one-shot us. They're actually never even going to two-shot us thanks to buff padding. But I guess, I guess they have their ability. All right. Well, evolution incense here. Get ourselves the Excadrill. Uh, do that there. Great ball. Take the Sinchino. Things are looking good. Drop the dojo. And we'll Ingo and Emmett. All right, we're going to draw a dojo. We're going to draw the cards from the bottom of our deck because I don't want the dojo. And, okay, we didn't really get too much here. Uh, we can Evolution Incense for another Sinchino. Just to try to thin. Uh, we can get rid of one Excadrill. Come on, give me an energy. No. We did get research, though. I like that. I think we're just going to buff Padding and pass for now. Unfortunately, not the greatest thing there, but... It is what it is. Alright, let's see. They're going to Pokecom here. They probably have turned to Obstagoon. I guess it really didn't matter too much if we knocked out the Mew or not, but we want, I want to take as many prizes as I can, because I doubt we'll ever get to a point where we can take more than one prize yet. So they are weak to grass. That's a really weird weakness to have. Um, that means stuff like Rillaboom can one-shot them. It's so weird, Dark being weak to grass. That's such a weird weakness, bro. They should just keep it to strict elite of fighting, because then playing a fighting deck means you have an answer to both Obstagoon and Pika. So yeah, I put the button on, obviously, so that we don't lose Excadrill. You know, could have happened. All right, they actually bench a Sableye, which is really good for us. That's like a free knockout. All right, do we want to bench Mew? Probably not. It's pretty useless. Let's just go for the research here. There's the energy. We got another Drillbird, which is good, too. Can make do. I guess maybe we should have kept that in case, of course, we get stamped. And we got a, we got a Fionn. Okay. So we could Fionn them here. I think I'm actually going to go for. All right, well, Great Ball first. All right, there we go. I was hoping we get another Mancino. Let's give him the Fion. I don't really care for the Mew, so I'd rather them have to bring in something here. Obviously, both Pokemon being brought in are really good for us. Whoops, sorry. I just knocked something over off my desk. All right, anyways, hope that wasn't too loud, but it should be Gucci. So I'm most likely predicting they're bringing in the Sableye so they could maybe attach a Dark and do Lone Star? Or whatever this thing's attack is. Load star, yeah, load, load, load search. Load star, load search. That's what it's called. Boom, they give me the Obstagoon. Oh, Don't mind if I do. And drill bazooka. Fortunately, we're like 10 damage off on a knockout. And what do we lose? Another dojo is kind of unfortunate. We also lost an energy, which is fine because it's already rot in our hand. So we're fine. And they just pass. Alrighty then. Works for me, Chief. Let's just make do. Another energy's good. Get another Excadrill. We're pretty much flowing at this point. Just gonna go for the 11th hour attack. I'm gonna hold the hand just because we're running low on supporters and I don't really see reason to research. I guess we want to set up 11th hour attack or whatever drill bazooka, but I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just gonna take the knockout. Just go from there. I'm not gonna play research just yet. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait a turn. Plus, I don't want to play these rods just yet either. You know, if I actually would prefer to get Marnied here, but it looks like they are just going to go for a Rosa. Getting a, another Galarian Zigzagoon. This kind of makes me wish I had a bench spot available, though, to do another Fion, considering we can just constantly Fion here, which is pretty strong. But it's fine. We're chilling. We're in a pretty good spot. 
I guess we should try to just set up for that 11th hour tackle so that we can start one-shotting the Obstagoons. But I don't want to put myself too low because of the threat of dolls. Plus, I'm losing two rods if I do that. So I think just kind of sitting back and doing make do is the play. Like, I don't want to... Like, I don't want to have dolls, like, deck me out. Like, it could happen. All right, how much HP do we have? 150. They're going to be going for a Sableye here, which is fine. Knocking out the Sableye is good, too, right? They're going to get another Zagoon. They're probably going to hit the other Excadrill with the buff padding, I'm guessing. No, they're going to keep hitting my active. It's kind of weird. Now, we actually can knock out Mew here if they don't bump my stadium with the uh, 11th hour tackle, which is good. So we don't have to do another drill bazooka. All right, nice. Yeah, see, this is why uh, we can't play research, folks. How many great catchers do we have left? Okay, let's get rid of our one great catcher. I might regret this if they bench any Veltar version, but I doubt they will. Yeah, I'm not trying to lose this hand or lose all those rods. So we're just going to have to keep holding the hand. I'm going I'm to get Marnied eventually, so I'm going to hold the hand. That's why I like Sinchino over Substrike. See, if I was forced to play Substrike here, like, look what I would lose. You know what I mean? Looks like they have another rare candy in their hand. Or another Rosa, at the very least. Either that or they prize their only Lyloon, possibly. So they need... Oh, they have a Research. And they're going to lose an Obstagoon. That's actually pretty big. Let's see if they find an Energy here. These Obstagoon decks, what, play 8 Energy? Something like that. I don't really know. I haven't really played much Obstagoon since I recorded that video. It's just two meta guys. Obstagoon and Expanded, I was going to look at too, just because it has Dark Patch to work with, which I actually find pretty good. Okay, they did bench the Veltal. We still have another Great Catcher in the deck, which is why I do like playing both in the deck. So I guess our Wingonish is knock this out, knock this out. That's not bad. I have a pretty good win condition on the board. All right, there's the Jirachi coming down and a Skateboard going on the Jirachi. Do they even have an energy here? They may have whiffed the energy to knock me out. They did, okay. They're probably going to get back Rosa, I'm guessing. No, they're going to get back Research. If they already have a supporter, they're going to get... Yeah, okay, they're going to get Research. Either it was going to be Research or Candy. Looks like they settled for the Research. <laughs> Thank you for all the Ordinary Rods. How much energy is left? Okay, we can afford to get rid of this. I guess we could have gotten rid of the Buzzle too, but... Whatever. Ooh, we have a Clay. We could play Clay here. Mm, yeah, not really trying to do that. Let's Great Ball, try to get another Cinchino. No... Like the ditto, I guess. And we're gonna have to settle with a drill bazooka. Or we could clay and do 11th hour tackle. Okay, let's just do the clay. Screw it. Let's do the clay. And we can also do this. Uh, I think I'm going to put back... I want the Cinchino. Oh, I didn't even realize we had the Juicy Joe's Prize. We don't even have a tool in the discard either. Okay, well, they don't play Blah Blah Bryson Man, right? So we should be fine. <laughs> Let's just go for the 11th hour tackle. Knock out this thing. And all we got to do now is Great Catch Revoltal. So if we get the Great Catch with the prizes, that's pretty good. Because I know it is prized. Didn't find it. Did not get the Great Catcher to wrap this game up, unfortunately. Or maybe the Great Catcher is the last card in the deck. That is a possibility. But yeah, I think at this point we have this game about wrapped up. Like, they would need a lot to win. They're just going to pass. Um, so we have to do another one to hackle here. I think we can burn this quick ball. I'm gonna get rid of the ditto because I honestly, I don't don't think I'm ever gonna use it. It's just never gonna be able to get into play. Okay, so we don't have thing in our deck. So am I just gonna pray they don't play Bulba Bryson Man? <laughs> is that what this is coming down to? I think it is. Is there any way they could deck me out? It'd have to be a Bulba Bryson Man. Just pray they don't play Bulba Bryson Man to win. Great catcher. There it is. Nice. Not that it really matters. Of course, we need one prize left to win. We just hope they don't play a uh, Blebel Bryson, man. And that is going to be it for the game against Obstagoon. Probably it for the video. 
We play against three of the best decks in the format. ADP Zacian almost beat it. Looks like we're going to be able to beat this Obstagoon deck unless they play Bella Bella Bryson Man. Nope, they just concede. All right, and we beat a Pika deck, so that's not bad. This actually feels like pretty fun. Again, you don't want to play against Mill or Macargo. I guess Mewtwo might be hard because they might play Macargo in their deck too. So there's some matchups that are a little sketchy, uh, but overall, it's a pretty fun deck to play. And it's pretty cool. But yeah, that'll wrap up the video, guys, on the Excadrill deck here, gaining some new cards with Research and Sinchino and Great Ball. But yeah, that'll wrap up the video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below to help me on the road to reaching 8,000 subs. Thank you for all the support on the channel over the past month. And also, of course, check out the Smudge Card Game TCG down below, too. Use code LDF if you pick up any codes. Follow me on Twitter, and bye bye.